here was a mistake. Don't be hasty. There's no need to rush off. You just told me I can't trust you. Because you can't. The only person you can fully rely on is yourself. Don't ever put all your faith in someone else. You'll only be disappointed. That might be true for you, but there's someone in my life who has never failed me. Then why aren't you talking to them right now? Don't get me wrong. I'm not telling you to push everyone away and go at it alone. I just advise you to think carefully about who you confide in, who you make yourself vulnerable to, to calculate both the risk and reward before confiding in anyone. And telling me your secrets might reward you with clarity. Unless you use them against me. But you see, I'd only do that if I had something to gain from it. <laughs> well, at least you're honest about that. The only thing I stand to gain if you confide in me is the chance of a return visit. Now, Pentonville is dark and dreary, but you bring in the light. The FBI has evidence, a recording, that I committed RICO violations and engaged in criminal conspiracy. I only said what I said to protect my family when my ex-husband was presumed dead. You do realize none of that matters. You still broke the law. Yeah, I'm aware. The FBI is using the evidence to blackmail my friend Jason. He became an informant in return for a promise from the FBI not to charge me. Did Jason tell you that? A hacker I know discovered the recording on the FBI's database. I mean, they tried to delete the recording. But that's, that's impossible to do from the outside, given their security. That's right. Well, you've gotten yourself into quite a situation here, haven't you? So what do you need to know from me? Will the FBI honor their agreement with Jason? Not a chance. Morgan will still be a Jake reached out to me. And I'm going to keep trying just to make sure that he knows that I'm there for him. If that's OK with you, you've basically been Jake's sole parent for years. So if you don't want me to do it, I'll... I appreciate that. And yes, I may be his mom, but Jake is his own person now with a lot of strong opinions. So you don't, you don't need my permission to try to build a relationship with him. You need his. Thank you for not standing in my way. And for reminding me that it might not be easy. But it'll be worth it. So Jake, he's still into baseball, right? Are the Woodchucks still his favorite team? Oh, yes. And I think they have a, a big game coming up against their main rivals, the Red Wings. Well, that's great. I'm going to get tickets. <laughs> I'm going to see if, uh, if Jake wants to go with me. OK. It's just, you know, um, I'm not going to tell him what he should do. I need to protect my relationship with him by allowing him to come to you on his own terms. But I do hope he goes to the game with you for his sake and yours.